them on the leads and the electricity can flow between the two push pins now and so electricity is flowing through the water and so that's enough energy to break apart the water make it undergo a chemical reaction so that the H2O gets broken apart into H2 and O2 it's going to be hydrogen gas and oxygen gas and both gases are going to flow up through the test tubes and one of the gases is going to be in one test tube and the other one's going to be in the other one. How do you know which one's which? Well, if you take a look at the amount of gas in each test tube, there's going to be twice as much hydrogen gas as oxygen gas. So you can see in the right test tube, you have twice as much hydrogen gas as oxygen gas. This is how experimenters first learn that the ratio of hydrogen atoms to oxygen atoms in water is 2 to 1. It's 2 to 1 ratio, thus H2O.